Hi there. In this video, I am going to demonstrate working two color brioche on a flat piece. So you'll need a circular needle for this, even though we do have a flat piece working here. It's a four row process where we work a main color row, which is my multicolor right here, and a contrast row, which is this blue that I have. So I'll be alternating those two colors and working brioche knit stitches and brioche purl stitches. Um, as I work a right side row, wrong side row, a wrong side row, and a right side row. And I'll walk you through it all. So we're going to start here with a selvage stitch. In this swatch, I just have a knit stitch as the selvage. When you're working a real pattern, it will be something fancier, probably a slip stitch, maybe garter, or something different, you'll see. All right, here I am, I'm on my brioche knit row. Anytime I encounter a doubled stitch like this, a stitch that had a yarn over slip, worked on it on the previous row, I'm going to work a brioche knit, which is essentially a knit two together, but since it's combining stitches that are only in one column, we're not actually decreasing anything. We're just combining these doubled stitches with the brioche knit. My next stitch is a yarn over slip, or slip yarn over, excuse me. Bring the yarn to the front of the work, slip that stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right, and then just leave the yarn draped here over the needle. Our next stitch is a brioche knit, so I'm going to work them together. You'll notice as I did that brioche knit, the yarn over that crosses over the slip stitch was locked in place. Then I'm going to do another slip one yarn over. Keep my yarn towards the back and work a brioche knit. So every time you work the next stitch, it locks the yarn over in place from the slip yarn over. So yarn to the front, slip the stitch over purlwise, keep the yarn to the to the side, and then work the two together for your brioche knit. Okay, and then here I am at the last stitch. Again, just our selvage, we're going to knit it plain. Okay, now we're ready for a wrong side row with the contrast colors. So I'm going to pick up my blue, knitting the selvage stitch here. And I'm going to begin, I see a single stitch right here, I'm going to begin with a slip one yarn over. So my yarn comes to the front, I slip the stitch over, and then I begin working my brioche knit. Yarn comes to the front, slip the stitch over, leave the yarn right there, work a brioche knit. Yarn to the front, slip the stitch, brioche knit. I'm going to repeat that to the end of the row. So that's basically the same as what we did on the previous row, except now it's with a new color. Anytime you see a single stitch, you do the yarn, the slip one yarn over, and anytime you see a doubled stitch, you work the brioche knit. So here I am at the end. I've done my last slip yarn over, and I'm knitting my selvage stitch. That was a wrong side row. You'll notice my next row here is meant to be in the main color, and it is also a wrong side row. My yarn is way over here and I need to work this way. So I'm going to take my knitting needle and pull it through so that my stitches are now on the other end of the knitting needle. That's how you access those stitches on the other side. You need a circular needle or spend a lot of time slipping, slipping your stitches back over. All right, so this now is a brioche purl row. It's a little different from a brioche knit. Instead of knitting two together, we're going to be purling two together. So here I've got my doubled stitch from the previous row. I bring my yarn to the front and I purl these two together. After you've purled those two together, your next stitch is going to be the slip yarn over. So my yarn is already in the front. I'm going to slip that stitch. Here's where the slip yarn over is different on the brioche purl row than it is on the brioche knit row. What I'm going to do is wrap my yarn over the top of the needle, similar to what I did on the brioche knit row, but then bring it full circle all the way around back to the front of the work, to the near side of the fabric. So that when I do my brioche purl on my next stitch, that yarn right there has been caught around the stitch that it was slipped with. So slip one yarn over, so there's my slip one, and then bring the yarn full circle around so it comes all the way to the back while wrapping over the needle so that you can work that brioche purl just like so. So yarn is already in the front, slip the stitch, swing the yarn around the needle, 
to the front again, and then you work your brioche pearl. Yarn's already in the front for the single stitch. I slip it, swing the yarn all the way around, brioche pearl. Yarn's in the front, slip it all the way around, and brioche pearl. And then my last stitch is going to be a regular knit for my selvage. Next row, contrast color right side. So I'm all set for that. And this is another brioche pearl row. However, my first stitch here will be a yarn over slip. So this will be a little interesting. I'm going to knit my first stitch. In order to get my yarn to do the yarn over slip or slip yarn over, I have to bring the yarn to the front of the work slip the stitch over, and then proceed. So you always have to make sure your yarn is starting out in the front of the work for your slip yarn over. On this row where we're doing brioche pearls, right now it's at the front of the work, so I don't have to do much to it until after I've slipped the stitch, then I have to swing it around. Um, however, at the beginning where I had the knit stitch, my yarn then was leaning towards the back, so I had to bring it forward manually first before working my slip stitch. So here my yarn's in the front, I just did a brioche purl. I slip the stitch purlwise, swing the yarn all the way around, and then I'm ready for another brioche purl. My yarn is in the front, I slip purlwise, bring the yarn all the way around, and a brioche purl. Yarn front slip, all the way around, and then we're ready for brioche purl. And that's what locks in that yarn over right over the slip stitch, the swinging around. And here we go. Now this is another interesting piece. Since I'm knitting this last stitch here, I'm going to move that slip stitch back over. My yarn was in the front after a brioche purl. I'm going to slip this stitch over. And if you remember back to our brioche knitting rows, when we were knitting the next stitch, all we had to do was leave the yarn like this. If we're purling, the yarn has to swirl around. But if you're about to knit the last stitch, like I am here, you can then leave the yarn over the top, just like that. So I just want to point out before we end the video <laughs> that we're alternating main color and contrast color rows. So it's one of each row, one after another. However, right side rows and wrong side rows are not alternated. You do two in a row. So I just finished this row here, my contrast right side. My next row is main color right side. That main color is way over here. So I'd have to do this technique to get ready to knit that side. Um, additionally, you're going to work two brioche knit rows in a row and then two brioche pearl rows in a row. And you'll notice each color gets both rows. So this main color gets a right side row and a wrong side row. And main color also gets a brioche knit and a brioche pearl. The contrast color also gets a wrong side and a right side row and a brioche knit and a brioche pearl. So there's a lot of balance here um, and there's just, yeah, there's a lot you have to pay attention to to figure out what row you're on, but it all works out. Happy knitting!